Hey guys, my name is Mike. Um, if you've been following my videos, what we've had, I've got a 2018 Lincoln Navigator and I'm a livery driver in the New York City area. Uh, back when I had 85,000 miles on my car, on my Navigator, and this has a second generation EcoBoost engine in it, uh, three and a half liter. It's the same engine as is in the Ford Raptor. Um, you know, my, what happened was I started to have that cold start rattle around 85,000 miles. I took it into the dealership. It took over a month to repair. Back ordered parts. They had to have a special technician, et cetera, et cetera. It took over a month to repair and two repair tries. And I'm going to be taking it in again because there's another little noise. So it'll be the third repair try. So the purpose of this video is everyone asks what kind of oil to use for the EcoBoost engine. You've got a couple different choices. Now, you're going to have to change it out uh, every 4,500 miles. And one of the oils I saw, uh, which is very top quality, it resists fuel dilution, uh, which strips away the, vico the viscosity. Uh, people say it's sheer. It's not sheer. It's fuel dilution. And that's what the EcoBoost engine is doing. It's diluting your oil and it's kicking back the vis viscosity. And that's what's going on. Uh, so one way is to change the oil every 4,500 miles. That's one way to do it. And you use a high quality one as, as Valvoline Full Synthetic Max Life. If you do a UOA, used oil analysis through Blackstone. Whoops, sorry, yes. If you do a UOA, used oil analysis through Blackstone, uh, you'll find that if you take it to 7,000 miles, it gets into the nines, the viscosity. So if you do it, you change that 4,500 miles, uh, that will be ideal. It'll still have a, uh, a lot of viscosity left. Uh, now there's another oil here I've got and this is what I'm running right now and it is this one it's mobile one uh, turbo diesel truck uh, 5w40 mobile one turbo diesel truck 5w40 and it is rated for gasoline engines so it's I know it says turbo diesel on the front but it is rated for gasoline engines um, since I've been running this oil my engine is so smooth and quiet. Uh, with the 5W30 oils I was running before, it just there was just a little bit of drama going on in the engine. But with this turbo diesel oil, I believe that's the perfect oil for the EcoBoost engine. And that's what I'm running right now. 5W40 uh, and the, these uh, HD EOs, heavy duty um, engine oils designed for diesel engines. Uh, this one is also designed for gasoline engines. It's got an API rating SN, API SN. This is perfect uh, for fuel diluters. I'm running it right now, and it's crazy how quiet the engine is. So if you're asking me what is the what is the well what is the best oil out there, it's going to be this Mobile One Turbo Diesel uh, Gas Truck uh, 5W40. Now, if you want. The best uh, oil for you know warranty purposes and stuff, I say with Valvoline Full Synthetic Max Life, changing it out at 4,500 miles. But if you're asking me what's the best oil for your EcoBoost engine, I'm gonna say Mobile One, uh, yeah, turbo diesel, uh, turbo diesel truck. That's what it's called, 5W40. It's also if you got a turbo Subaru, that's probably be the best one too. I know a lot of you guys you use that Rotella T6. Uh, but that's not really designed for cars and, you know, it's not really designed for gasoline engines. This one is. It's designed for both gasoline engines and diesel. It's available at Walmart. It's a little bit more expensive than the Rotella uh, T6 5W40. But this one is designed for both uh, gasoline engines and, uh, and diesels.